Hello, Darklings. Hi, everyone. We've had hate mail again. We have. And I have to hold it quite far back because it's a big box. Yeah. And it's the xfire.com's e -fire e The Flare. Did no. I? Right. Now, this has been sent to me free of charge for the purposes of carrying out review. And as usual, it shall be done with honesty from a user's point of view and completely and utterly insane. All right? Got to establish that, because if you're looking for a sane one, you're in the wrong place. Yeah. Right, move. Here we go. Box opening. Dun, dun, dun. There you go. Boom. <laughs> what? Right, I'm trying not to tip it. I'm, I'm having a bad case of dropping everything at the moment. Yes. So what you have in here is... A rather interesting... Shaped thing. <laughs> yes. There's the X flare that's the flare itself there's a spare very posh looking tank and a spare at the wick thing i've got to learn the products i'm reviewing jewel, it's them it's a dual coil, a replaceable dual coil system in it okay a replaceable dual coil system i've got to read things up read now things. one thing i will point out immediately before we go on on that one is that is obviously a plastic tank don't mm -hmm. put juice crackers in there if you want to know which juice is crack your tanks if you go along to planet of the vapes and that will be on here later um there is a list there on the i believe it's on the wiki on there but it is on there that on the other hand is not and that's what we will be using when we when we actually get round to actually vaping it okay these are from the uk e store.com it is right let's take it out you are uh -huh. you said that before Instantly, I'm sat here hold looking on, at the bendy bit and yeah. thinking, ooh, how would you do that? A female, one thing at a time. <laughs> right, the one thing you've got to think of immediately is that's a rather odd looking device. I mean, that is. It's not unpleasant, well, to me. It's different. It's, it's yes. Yes you, yes, you can accept that is different. Yes, yes you know, it's still a young industry. It may, be, it may become the mm. standard thing in a few years' time. Now, one of the things you're going to notice before I start taking it apart is the size of this tank. That takes 10 mil. Ooh. That's a bottle. Full of bottle. A, of liquid. Well, obviously, it won't be a 30 mil bottle, but the 10 mil bottle, that's in there. So, if you're going to use this, make sure you like your juice. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> it's going to take you a while to vape through a tank full. Yes. Um, the other thing that kind of concerns me, but whether or not it's a valid concern is another matter is the fact that that, pla that is plastic um, oh, yeah. and obviously you could squeeze it and squeeze over, over squeeze it and maybe cause a bit of a problem there maybe um, it's only a maybe it's something you yeah we know just straight away uh, uh, weight wise it's actually not that heavy um, we don't have I don't think a bottle of liquid in there would make that much difference either no I mean you can see it's got the what it is and what it takes now it does say it takes uh, 18650 which is obvious by the size of it but it also says 18350 i believe which i would presume would be two in one because there's no there's no spacer in here and there's no way to shrink that like a telescope to take the battery so i presume they would mean using two of the 18350 batteries in there uh, personally i don't tend to stack extension um, extension connector for 18350 yeah. It says on that the maybe, website. Yeah, maybe an optional extra. Yeah. But maybe there's no way that, that, I mean, that's not that's not telescopic, so it can't take that. Mm-hmm. Okay. So let's that take brings it us back to... Have a look and see what... That's it. You right, can tell this, we haven't... This is a pure, straight from the box, open and see how it goes. Right. One of the first things I'd recommend is no lex. Yeah. Onto there. Now, that will be the battery compartment. There you are. There's, ah, there, there's that, the extension. That, that's so, the extender yes. for your... So your 18350 battery can go in there, so I stand corrected. It does have a, a way to actually compress it enough so that you can get in. Uh, and that, and that, that, unscrews. that unscrews so that you can just put in your 18650 direct. That is for your 18350. Okay. Now which battery will you be putting in this? 18, 18650, I won't be using it. Okay, so we... Put the extender back I'm in the sorry, box. a lot and a lot of people do like the 18350, but something that's already that size, I don't see what the point would be really of putting in a much smaller battery which has a less milliamp hour capacity and therefore less vaping 
ability. Uh, ability. So really, that's best left in the box, in my opinion, uh, on there. So that that's your that's your battery compartment. Yeah, well, a little bit of no lux to smooth just down smooth, here. Smooth, to smooth your thread down. a bit. Right now, this is a very voltage for what it is, and it can go, I believe, from three point two to 4.8 volts and the way that's changed is on this little knurled wheel here. Now I will presume anti-clockwise would be minus, clockwise would be plus on your voltages on that one. And yes is, you can see. There is a red mark on the knurled part as well to I show you. I that camera will pick it up. It, hopefully it will. You can see the different voltages available there. And on this side here, where, where's it gone? There. there. If you could show them that. There's a red red line on the actual knurling to uh, show you where you are. And I okay. will need glasses to read that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's have a look. Okay. Let's have a how, look do you, how, do you, how do you turn it on? Is it, is that, do you press that? Is yeah. that yeah. Okay, so the, yeah. the top knob as yeah. well. I'm not going to put a battery in at the moment because obviously that's dry in there so it hasn't been yeah, the, um, done. The twirly knob is also your switch. Okay. Are you having trouble opening that? As usual, yeah. I have to hand does it to my actually... able assistant here. That bit, yeah, that bit actually does yeah, it. That's what here I was... we go. Uh, what have we got here? Ahead. There's your hole. There's your hole for your vapor. Yep. And there's your your atomizer. Now, first thing that comes into mind there is that's very obviously a top one, which means that you are going to be doing that every uh, well, I I'd, I'd, sure free to six vapes. I wouldn't go any more than six vapes before. Just give it a little tilt and then back. Yeah. That's tilt it that's that is what is done. in the top there. There's your yeah. there's your wicking. So obviously if that's at the top and your liquid is down here, yeah. It's not going to work. You're not going to draw any liquid up. So you are going to have to tip it to wet the wicks every couple of vapes. That's yeah you are going to have to tip it. Yeah. There's another reason for that as well is because <laughs> Look at the depth of the tank. Look at the length of the wicks. Yeah. Uh, that's not even gonna. It's not even gonna dangle in the juice. It's not even gonna dangle down here. So you will be doing that as you start losing juice. You know, like that to start with, and then you'll be doing that towards the end of it. So that's something to bear in mind if mm -hmm. you don't like the tipping. Yeah. So that screws in. Let me see the screw thread there. Screws into the top to replace. Yeah. Quite yeah. literally, just. You screw, can actually. Unscrew. Um, these are rebuildable, so you take this cap off, you then cut your your threads and stuff, whatever. And there's something else there as well. If you look on there, so you've you taken the I've taken the atty head off, obviously a recoil off, and that has to go back in there. Um, now to get that back in there, bear in mind this is new, so therefore these wicks are clean. Uh, as they're unscrewing it back on. The wicks are coming up. The wicks are actually out, so which means that they're going to have to be poked down. So if that's if those are wet with liquid, yeah, it's going to be a bit fiddly and icky. Yeah, yeah. So just poke so them that's down. That's a bit of a, a bit of a hmm. Yeah, and if you did make, if you did rebuild this and make the wicks long enough to reach the bottom, there does come a point where the capillary action just won't work. Yes, yeah, that's far too high for capillary yeah. action to work on there. Um, it's laws of physics, Captain. You cannot change the laws of physics. Okay. Have a bloody good go, but you can't. <laughs> All right. So that's about it. So your fire buttons at the top. It's actually not too bad. I'm not too sure how this will pan out for me. You know, so I've got two dead fingers at the bottom. Turn it around the other way. Turn it. Turn it completely round so that that's in the palm of your hand, and then you can reach over the top. I can't. I can't no. push down on that finger. No. We can see on there. I was so. thinking, put it in that way. So yeah. But this particular type of problem is my issues with my dexterity yeah Where it's so no for, baby it's pointless you me, trying to show me how to do it because no. i can only show how okay I for use me it. yeah it would be ooh, let's put the lid on so you can see where it goes so i'm hoping you can actually twist this to the well that'll be the mouthpiece so yeah, yeah okay you need so there you go so that to me is comfortable yeah okay well, obviously, with no dexterity issues for me using it, and obviously I can show it to people who may have the similar problems to me. Um, you may be a two-handed. Yeah, because I've got no power on my bottom fingers; they're, they're basically dead. So mm -hmm. I would have to 
sort of do it that sort of way onto there. But yeah, okay. It's, that's that's a problem, obviously, with me and my dexterity. It's not a problem with the device per se. So there we are. We, yeah, you can turn them around. I mean, that that. Around, yeah, sorry. can you take that out? No. It should be replaceable. No, that's, the actual mouthpiece doesn't seem to want to come out. I'm getting out of the way. Our hands are going. It does twizzle around, but ah, there, finally it came out. Can I, yeah. can I just have a? Yeah, that's not that's a proprietary mouthpiece for the thing, so you're not going to be able to put your five tens in there. On there, so you kind of limited us to as it was, and that's a shame to be fair because well, I don't know, everybody has their own kind of drip tips, yeah. But this gives it this just because it's bendy gives it the pipe look, pipe feel. Yeah, yeah. It may give it a pipe look on the mouthpiece, but it certainly bloody ain't on the rest of it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, no, that wouldn't work, yeah, no, it wouldn't. You'd have it like that, okay? Yeah, okay. So let's take the tank apart. Or rather, I'm going to be changing it because I don't particularly like. Uh, would you have clear. to take the tank out if you were just topping it up, or would you just take the bottom off and tip it upside down? Oh God, no! You wouldn't tip it upside down. It's open at the top. Is it? Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, because it goes. No, yeah. the attic's at the top. Oh yes, I see what you mean. Yeah. Ooh. You wouldn't do that, right? Now, all you do on these, apparently, can you see me? Hello. All you do on these, apparently, is this pushes down now. I'm not going to be able to do it, so I shall pass it on to Julia. Oh. I'd sort of place it on the desk. Okay. It should no, just that's, literally that, drop that's down. Not, okay, make sure your fingers aren't slippery. I'm putting it on the desk, okay? Um, so the battery can, battery's sitting like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ooh. That was, that was that's well, it's sealed. It'll, that means it's sealed well, but... Yeah, hold on. Okay. Give, come here. Okay. Now you can see on this... It's got a rubber wing. It's got a rubber ring, which sits into there and then locates up into the hole. But that is really, really tight. Not something I will be able to use. And anybody with dexterity problems, be aware that you may have a problem here and need some help, uh, because there's no way I'll be able to drop that. Okay, so that then just drops out. Okay, that's what the underside looks like. If you can get the angle right, yeah. Now what we will do is now put this other tube in. So you can use one or the other, depends what your preference yeah, is. Yeah, that was the clear one. Personally, I'd rather have this, because obviously that's stainless steel. Mm, and, uh, it's, no, it's good. Stainless steel with, still got the plastic inside. Can you see it? It's got the, the holes cut out of the stainless steel for looks, mm. but it's still a, um, a plastic, a poly what's it tube. Okay. That then would pop straight back in there. That's where you oh, liquid pipe with metal car. And that should push straight back up. Yeah, this is going to be a bit hard for anybody with dexterity problems. I've got to get it back out again because we've got to show how it feels. Haven't we? Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to pull this back out again. Uh, so... Now, one thing I must say on this one. You know, if you're going to swap, you could swap between the two tanks, obviously, depending on the juices you're using. Dictates, but... It's a shame they didn't actually have like a little stopper. On yeah, that would be a handy. Little, little you button. could then carry a tank that's already full. Exactly. With you. There. And with 10 mil, I mean, let's be honest, it's going to last the average person at least a day, even if you if you don't put the damn thing down. Um, I would that's, think. <laughs> yeah, that'd be that'd be really handy. So some have some a spare, way of yeah. Some way of closing the top off. Mm. Okay. So, so shall we? Should we actually put some liquid in it? Shall I? Shall I put some drops on the wicks first? Yes. Free... Um, when you when you first get these, or any type of this ilk, dry it. Ill. Not being a bottom coil, obviously, it's not going to have the benefit of being immersed in e liquid with immediate effects. So always prime it first. What flavour do you want? Um, put in the uh, the choco. Choco mint. Although, yeah. wait a minute. Wait a minute. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> His new favourite, squid ink. There we go. Right, let's... Um... So, all I'm doing here at the moment is... Can you see the, the wicks? I'm going to wet them. Just put enough in here to... Prime it. Prime it, yeah. Uh, put a bit... No. no. Not down the centre. No. Down the outside. Julie doesn't vape. 
so uh, yeah. I should really, she I never should, used I should... to smoke when she was young unless it was in the back of a four cortina apparently oh. <laughs> now is that enough in there can you see yeah it's all we're doing is just it's just it's priming just it just... so don't don't overdo it because you're going to end up with an opposite effect and it'll start dripping oh start dripping down yeah. okay so i'll put the lid back on now And now fill the put put enough in the tank to make it a do. Oh, that's another problem. Is when the tank when the that would probably alter in fairness when the battery's in it. Oh yeah, yeah. Because I, I just found then I yeah. stood it up like that and it just went there. Yeah, because so obviously the battery would give it more stability at the, at the bottom. More... Weight of where it needs to be, which is over there, to okay. not be. Right. No, 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 no. Oh, wrong one. Wrong flavour. Sorry. You've just tainted the squid ink, you're a naughty girl. Yeah, just put a couple of squirties in here, yeah? Oh, uh, you're going to need a modern few, but I took the bottle in, you. If it takes 10 mil and you like the juice, like uh, squid, squid juice, squid yeah. juice? Squid ink. Just pour the bottle in it. <laughs> <laughs> Don't sit there and go and squid, squid, squid. Yeah, because you're going to be there a long time with 10 mil. Okay. Now, this then goes back up through the hole. Yep. Push it in firmly from the bottom and then that then goes in yep. there and it's also got that pin as well which I assume is to just give it that little bit of extra push. Yeah make sure it's located. Make sure it's really located well because yep. yeah because even though I've pushed it in battery. I'm gonna oh yeah it's now got quite hard I'm gonna push it in a bit more with my thumbs is he being rude again? No, I'm pure. That's it. Yeah, this this is not, I've got to say, this is not the device for somebody with any kind of dexterity problems, arthritis in their hands. In other words, for me to use it, I will need assistance. Yeah, it will need me to be constantly... The only thing I'll probably be able to do myself is change the battery in the head, uh, the, the coil head. Oh, that's better. I've given it the extra push up with my thumb and it's now screwed in. See, here we go. Yeah. No, 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 no. Right, okay. It's a top coil. You've got to tip it upside down. Tip it upside down, but don't hold it upside down for more than a couple of seconds, because if you do, you're going to flood it. it the atomizer itself, you, you're not going to get anything from it. Um, so you've got to watch on that one as well. I don't know why they, why, why they didn't do a, a bottom coil. They obviously would have had to have redesigned it slightly, but um, they wouldn't have this worry. Okay, let's just see. First off, it will take the large EFES FRIP 34. That would be a resounding no, which is a bit of a shame because with 10 mil of liquid in it, it would, would have been nice to have had a battery that could uh, a huge battery, yeah, to last it. But it does take your standard AWs and it will take the, the Panasonics if you use those. Yeah. And then it should be a case of well, it's actually quite uh, I'm going to need you to do that as well, yeah, quite okay. uh, spring loaded at the bottom there. Oh, so, okay, and so yeah, once, the right? once the battery's in, the spring, the spring at this end. Yep. It's making it hard for Andy to actually put enough pressure on. I have to ask you a question now. Why did the battery fall out when you did that? <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, you're going to need a bit of Nolax on these on these threads as well. They're not locating very easily. There we go, that's got it. Yay! She's upside down again. But yeah. Oh, sorry. I tipped it upside down too much again, so hopefully it will fire. If it doesn't, it's my fault, not the devices. Oh, it'll fire, so we're not getting anything from it. But well, that's basically what it is. I mean, how much liquid did you put in there? Uh, not not that much. It's down the bottom here. It's enough to. You should have filled it. That means you're going to have to fill it again soon. <laughs> right. Um. The specs are coming out. <laughs> oh yeah, he needs to f figure out what the. La uh, la la. Well, yeah. Yes. I shall go into my scientist mode. Right, so where are we there? Where's your red line? Right, so that's 4.2, that's 4.8, so that's 4.2. Yes, it is. Just put it down between those two. So what's it at? 4.2. Four, 4.2, four? Four two. Four two? Yep. okay. Right, now I need to turn that. Being able to turn it, you can kind of find a position that's nice for you. Yeah, so that when you... Is it? Hello. Yeah, so when you tilt, make it... Thank you for you. Yeah. Right, here we go. Let's put battery in. Put a battery in. And we'll see what she uh, vapes like. 
again. Nipple, en nipple ending first, yeah. Yep. Yeah, because the so it, it's got a it's got a that's, safety a safety feature. Uh, whereas if you put it in the wrong way round, so it's that's uh, spring loaded, so you can you can see that there. So yeah, should fill into the base cap. Okay, you want me yeah, to do please. that? That is spring loaded, so it will it has made it hard for Andy to. There we go. There we are. Lovely. And so you can adjust this to where you want it, so you can have it whichever way you want. Okay. Yeah. And just set it up for you. And I'll set her up for 4.2. She's certainly got, should have enough liquid on it. Let's give it a go. Uh oh, that's not good. That's better. <laughs> I made some paper. The fire in there where it didn't fire was me, obviously, on the dexterity, the it way I have to hold devices. Didn't, didn't press it in, yeah, so. Well. <laughs> For me, personally, with the problems I have, this wouldn't be a device which I could use on an everyday purpose. I, I, on an everyday basis. basis, I would have to have Julie constantly around there, but... Having said that, if Julie is around, then all I need to worry about is changing the battery maybe once a day and topping up 10 mil of liquid every three days, two to three days, yeah. depending on what's going on, stress levels and stuff like that. You all know what it's like when you're vaping. You, you Sometimes you vape more and sometimes you hit a lovely juice and you think, oh, that's nice, and don't put it down. Apparently, some people do put their vaping devices down, I've heard. Yeah, yeah. Um, that is actually quite nice. Obviously, it's a dual coil. Um, it's actually nice. I mean, they. It looks different. I think it looks nice with that sleeve yeah. on. The sleeve comes in different colours. It does, yes. You can. So get you, can get, you can get them yeah. in, you know, pink, green, blue. I think it looks whatever. better with that on rather than the clear one, because <clears throat> with the clear one on, it does kind of look. I, I wouldn't like to walk into airport security holding with my finger <laughs> on the button with that. You know what I mean? It's, uh, that makes it look a bit more. Well, okay, that's probably an electronic cigarette, not uh, not, a room, not a yes. remote control for uh, C4 or something. Um, or, or, or something, yeah. Um, so that's one advantage, but you have to balance that, or rather. I have to balance that from a disabled or a disability point of view with changing your flavours or refilling your tank. I would need help with it. Uh, looking at that, I would probably need help with changing the battery. It's once a day, but probably need help. Top coil on here. Mm. With that size of a tank, 10 mil, I'm not too sure really that was the best idea, to be fair. Um, I pretty used to doing that now um, you are going to be doing that trust All me on this time. otherwise you will be burning out your coils and getting a lot of burnt taste so if you're going to get this then bear that in mind you will have to do that um, it's going to get pro more pro problematical if you think about it lower, lower of averages of the liquids down here it's got to go a lot further down so you're going to be tipping it a lot further down in order to do it and if you do over tip it or keep it upside down or even on its side uh, for too long it's going to flood and I say on its side even though I haven't done it because it's capillary isn't it if it's on the side the liquid's wetting the head if you're doing that if you put it on its side it's going to be constantly wet which means it's going to flood all these things you need to sort of bear in mind um, it is nice the very voltage part of it really seems to quite simple yeah it is It is simple it, it goes back to the um to the spinner type of voltage, the same mm -hmm. sort of voltage range, and I've seen it before. I've got another couple of devices from these people, uh, which I've got to do as well. Um, it's it's different. I, I'm. It, it's not a total negative. No, it's not. The, the, any negative. It has any got negatives, some negatives. It's, any negatives are more likely yeah. to be because of Andy's um, disabilities. Well, the the top coil part of it. And the top coil. Yeah. And the sheer volume of the liquid having the top coil on it, it it's just not a good idea in my opinion it's um you know they could have made it the bottom coil with that amount of liquid it would have caught it would have sorted a lot of problems which you may have with having to constantly tip the damn thing or leaving it on its side 
Um, it will sit on a desk quite yeah, it's nicely. Quite stable. It's that's quite stable. That's what I say. Once the battery's in it, it kind of counterbalances itself, so it sits there quite solidly. Um, not having the drip tip as a standard 510 um, is a negative point. Is as a well. negative point yeah. as well. So, for as as an all as an all day vape for somebody who can change the batteries to its tank yeah. out easily, yes, it'll probably probably work quite well. And it does produce the vapor, and it does produce the taste. And the uh... <laughs> hello, how are you? <laughs> um, but yeah, as I said, that was sent to me by. Uh, you... Go on, you say that because I always let you say. It. Go on. You, it's uh, the Flare by X Fire. It comes in at seventy four ninety nine. Um, it comes from the UK e six store dot com. You okay. can have it in stainless steel or black. The separate tanks come in a variety of colours. Yep. So you can have some fun with them. It takes an 18650 or using the adapter, it takes an 18350. Using that. Um, it's, but as I say, I can't see the point in that. Yeah. That, you know, for the design, if, if it was telescopic, which obviously it couldn't be with a 10mm tank, then there'd be reason to put an 18350 in it. But the milliamp hour cost of putting an 18350 in it, I, I personally can't see the point of it. Mm. But if, you've, if all you've got handy is the 18350 batteries and you want to vape it, Go for it. Especially on a very vol. Yeah, it's um, it's got replaceable dual coils on it, and it's also short circuit protected. It's very voltage. It's got lots of lots of things going for it. It has. I mean, you know, if you want something that's different, you're not going to get much different than that. Let's be honest. It's, <laughs> it does. It has some good points. It really does. I mean, the construction part of it. It's all stainless steel throughout. Well, apart, apart from, from the, the drip and the tank. That's another kind of semi-negative is why put that type of a, a drip tip on it when it's all like that why why didn't well, they it comes in black so the, it would look good on the black yeah but then they they should have the different things colors, for the different yeah, colors yeah. It, it you know so it matches itself it's a bit like ladies handbags it has to match you know? yeah okay um but yeah uh, uh, it's not a bad one it, it it's, it's just got brilliant. a couple it's just got a couple of things which perhaps could have been thought out a little differently a and executed better. a bit better um, but that's that's the flare from UK E6 oh. yes it's cool. the flare X fire dear oh, okay. okay then okay so that's that's us having reviewed that mm-hmm um, that's Sandy I'm Julie in case you're confused yeah uh, we're the vapor mists we are if you like, if you like our sort of style of reviewing and insanity, yes, please subscribe, and you'll catch us every time we upload something. Yep. Um, if you need help or advice to do with vaping in general, life, the universe, and everything else as well, pop along to planetofthevapes.co.uk, and you somebody on there will pop along and help you whatever question you got. Yeah. Um, if you want to chat to Andy on Twitter. Twitter. Uh, have a look for him under the Vapor Mists, Twitter. and that's with the English spelling. And if you follow us on Twitter, you also get notifications when we upload as well, because yep. it automatically goes across. Okay, and that's it from us. It is. So, bye then. Bye. I can always say bye like you said. Bye. If I do this, <laughs> it'll go even higher up into the soprano range. <laughs>